Okay, and, he, and here's our implementation corresponding to it. And what we're going to do is we're going to do click hello world button. There's our method already stubbed for us, okay? So we're just going to do um, just a simple uh, ns log statement just to show that we're here. So uh, type ns log. I'm going to hit the tab key to get to our arguments. And we're just going to do a simple string saying you clicked me like so. And let's go ahead and try and run that. Now, in this case here, we're, we want to see our debug. So in the new version of Xcode, our, our debug console is right, way down here at the bottom. There's a little arrow. You can see that it's, it's going to toggle and hide the show debug area. OK. And if, if you don't see any text there, make sure this right button is clicked. Either click the, the middle one or the right one. And then scroll to the bottom. And now we'll come here and click our button. And there we are. You click me is displayed on our log. So let's go ahead and stop that and take a look at that again. So again, we were in our implementation file. We held down the control key. We drag a line. We, we dragged the line to here and then selected action. Okay, and then gave it a name. Okay, I could cancel there. And so that created our definition of our our method there. And then it also created the uh, the corresponding function slash method in the um, in the implementation file. Okay, so now let's say we want to do something more. Let's say we, in, in addition to, to doing something, the action, let's say we want to do something to the actual button itself. Let's say we, we, we want to change the text from hello world to say whatever current date and time we clicked on. Okay, okay so to do that, we come back to our automatic here and come up to our hello world button. And again, we're going to hold down the control key. And this time, you'll note that we can we can, uh, what we want to do is, is call an outlet, an interface builder outlet. And it's giving us the option of dragging it to here, between the brackets, or below here, outside the curly brackets. And what we want to do is we want to put it outside the curly brackets, and I'll explain that in a minute. Let's go ahead and, and just uh, um, put it below him for now. It doesn't really matter whether, whether it comes below or above, but just as long as it's after this last curly bracket. Okay, and we're going to call it my button. Okay. Again, it's an outlet. And we just hit connect. Okay. Now look what it did. Um, it actually put some code in here for us, this UI button, my button. And it would have done that for us anyway had we left off the, the thing, our, our, our mouse while we were in here. But by putting our mouse down here and letting go of it, it created the property for us. And uh, this non-atomic retain is telling Xcode to, to retain this button in memory so we can do things with it. And I won't go into too much detail about that right now, but if you want to find more information about the, the memory management and, and more details, um, I, I recommend a good book called um, iPhone Programming, The Big Nerd Ranch Guide uh, by uh, Joe Conway and Aaron Hilleglass. That, that's a, 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 a good, a good uh, in-depth book to get you started there. But for now, we're just going to make note that we've basically defined our button. And then let's go and look at our source code here, back to our implementation file. And some other neat things that the code automatically did, it added this line automatically called synthesize my button. And, and that, that's an important line, and you'll see a lot of uh, synthesize actions when you develop an Xcode. And basically, synthesize tells Xcode to automatically create getters and setter methods. Accessor functions, they're called. And so we can do a lot of uh, getting and setting of properties much easier when we synthesize our variables. So Xcode automatically did that for us. Um, another thing it did in the, the deallocate function, it uh, it released the memory for, for my button. And it also, in the view did unload, it uh, set itself to nil. So there's a lot of uh, garbage collection that it did automatically for you just by dragging that line to... From, from your interface builder to your code. Okay, and so now all we have to worry about 
is doing something useful with our button. Okay, and so let's go ahead and run that action when we click the button. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say my button left bracket my button space. And what we want to do is we want to set the title of the button to the current date and time. So we're going to say set title. And you can see uh, the Xcode is automatically already filling that out for us. I've only typed S-E-T-T-I, and it's giving me the option for title already. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the tab button. I'm going to hit tab, and it'll automatically take me to the next, the end of set title. And I'm going to hit tab again, and now it's going to prompt me for a string. Now, for starters, we're just going to say just a real simple string. We'll just say, hey, you clicked me, okay? And then for our for, for, for the state, there, there's a number of button states. We have uh, the default state, we have the down state, we have the up state. And uh, we're just going to say UI control state normal. And again, it's filled it out for us already. So we're just going to hit tab, tab, tab to go to the end, closing bracket, and then a semicolon. Okay. And let's go ahead and, and try to run this. the button change to hey you clicked me and we still have our log statement there okay so let's go ahead and stop this and just for just one added enhancement we're going to go ahead and set the current time in the button okay so we can see a change as we as we keep on clicking it so we're going to make a copy of the line we're going to comment out that one and so instead of just hard coding the string like so we want to define an ns string with format okay and we're going to say clicked at and then the percent at sign and then the percent at sign says okay you can put a comma here at the end and then type something that you want to put in that string that you want to format so we want the current date so it's, which is an NS date and it's simply the word date okay that's the current date so we close that bracket then we close our ns string bracket and then we run it and let's go ahead and uh, show our debugger here And click hello world and there we have our debug statement showing up in our console our you click me and then we have our current time you click me at 15 25 and 36 seconds click it again and 48 seconds let's click again and 51 seconds so there we have our xcode uh, dynamically interacting with our our, our buttons that we created in the interface builder without doing an awful lot of coding. Just by dragging and, dragging and dropping those lines, we were able to um, have Xcode write a lot of that code for us. And then we just focused on the actual function. You know, all we had to do was focus on this do click hello button function and have the guts of our code in here. And the rest was taken care of for us. If you'd like uh, more information or more videos or more recommendations on books and videos, uh, visit me at www.viewpoint.pro. Again, I'm Dan King, and I thank you for watching.